For this video we're going to take a look at how we can send email alarms from Node-RED. So this is the, the node we're going to be using. Um, you can see here it's under the social group and we're going to be using the email send. Let's have a look where we got that from with regards to the uh, managed palette. So if we just type in email, there's a few of these. We just installed the the uh, Node Red email, the standard one. It was updated two months ago at the time of recording this video. So install that, and then we're going to drag and drop this into our project. So let's have a look at the help for this. So if we click it, click on the eye, and then the manual. There's quite a bit here that we can do with the messages coming into it. So. The message payload is the, the email message itself and the message topic is the header that you get as part of your email. So if we have a look at the node, we can leave this email address blank and we're actually going to put into the node using the inject node, but you could just do this with a function node, you could do it any way you wanted really. We are going to put the email address in so you can see here if we leave the message receipt uh, blank or two, then we can use these commands here to override the function of this email node. So we'll leave that blank. We're going to use a Gmail um, email server using SMTP with a port of 465 and we'll use a secure connection. Um, we're not going to use TLS. Uh, and we're not going to use a certificate, so we're not going to use the uh, the uh, added encryption. So what do you need to put in here? You need to put in your uh, email address that you would log into um, Gmail with, and the password that you would use. Now this is this is going to fail, but I'm doing this on purpose, so I can show you the error message and show you how to fix it. So if we click on done, then we'll have a look at our message that we're putting in. So we've got the message payload is going to say um, uh, production capacity warning, please reorder product for vessel one. The topic is going to be vessel one limit exceeded. And then the message two is, is my email address. So we'll do that. We'll deploy it. We'll put the debug on. Let's clear my previous attempts and then hit go. And we're going to get this message. What you have here is an app to cloud um, message, which could also be referred to as a machine to machine. And on Gmail, we have two step authentication and a little bit more security now. And that's good. Yeah? But unfortunately, it stops applications like this from getting through. So there's, there's some extra steps that we have to um, put in place to get the email to land in um, uh, Gmail. So the fix we need to put in place is nothing to do with Node Red and, and this node here. It's actually with Google Gmail. So the best way to get to the right place is to actually copy that error message. Control C or copy that and put that into our search bar, and it comes up here with you know, the, some instructions on how to fix it. So go to your Google account, and then if you have a look under security, you will see here um, underneath uh, signing in with Google, we've got two step uh, verification. We want to leave that on. Um, and then we've got app password. So the app password is a way to get around the, the two-step verification. So we don't want to be, you know, getting alarms from our app and having to log on to a phone to allow the email to land. So that's what this is about. So we have one password already set up. You have to log in. Under app, select custom name. We'll call this node red. I could call it vessel inventory, it doesn't really matter. And I'll click generate and I get this code. So this code is now going to be used 
um, in Node Red. My phone is beeping away because I'm getting all sorts of security notifications from, from Google as well. So if I go here to my node and replace my normal password with this new code that Google has generated for me, if I deploy, now click on send, I can see here send in and gone. And now if I look at my emails, you can see now that I have the Vessel 1 limit exceeded, production capacity warning, please reorder product from Vessel 1. So there's my emails now working, it will probably catch you out. There was another fix that, to get round this, but um, I can't remember exactly what it was, but they, Google stopped supporting it um, around May last year. So this is the newer solution, so the date being the, the 2nd of March. Um, 2023 this is the newer way to do it uh, if it changes again I'll do another video but this is the email node in node red sending emails to a gmail account which is one of the most popular uh, email accounts I hope you found that useful please click on the notification button and if you like this video don't forget to click on the like but for now thanks for listening and hope to see you again soon